terrorism. It goes without saying that terrorism is one of the most important or significant challenges facing the world at present. Counter-terrorism is no longer a matter to be kept within the borders of a given state and it has become the object of the whole community. Our country has experienced numerous terrorist attacks targeting both civilian and government institutions. These attacks have resulted in loss of life, injuries, damage to infrastructure, maintaining security and countering terrorism has been a top priority for the Saudi government. In order to face up the challenge, the international community must put in comprehensive and complementary strategies with necessary support and implement measures like enhancing security operations and intelligence sharing. Our kingdom has provided financial support for the establishment of the center in the amount of dollar ten million over three years and we assist to change the methods to tackle the causes of terrorism. By doing so, it can support the development of national and regional counter-terrorism strategies. I would like to talk about environmental goals next. Saudi Arabia has increasingly recognized the importance of environmental goals and sustainability in recent years. The Kingdom has shown commitment to addressing environmental challenges and transitioning towards a more sustainable future. The government aims to reduce water consumption through better management practices including the use of treated wastewater for irrigation and the implementation of water conservation programs due to less access to water resources. In terms of renewable energy, Saudi Arabia has set ambitious goals to diversify its energy mix and reduce its reliance on fossil fuels and the Saudi Vision 2030 aims to increase the share of renewable energy. We believe that every country should take significant steps to achieve its environmental goals and ensure effective implementation of policies that are crucial for the long-term sustainability and environmental protection of the Earth. My third concern is about climate change crisis. First and foremost, in the light of the ongoing climate crisis, we organize the urgency of taking bold and collective action to mitigate its adverse impacts. We emphasize the importance of investing in human capital and promoting inclusive social development across the world. We remain committed to the goals of the Paris Agreement and are accelerating our efforts towards transitioning to a sustainable and low carbon future. The whole world is facing many issues related to climate change, which are carbon emissions, extreme weather events, sea level rise, etc. We extend our support to the nations grappling with humanitarian challenges, conflicts, and forced displacement. By embracing innovation and empowering our youth, we aim to build a dynamic and resilient economy that fights in the face of global economic dynamics. My next topic would be global health and how and poster it. We acknowledge the importance of global health and actively engage in various international efforts to address health challenges. Infectious diseases such as malaria, tuberculosis, and emerging diseases such as Ebola and COVID-19 remain major global health concerns. These diseases can infect millions of people worldwide, in particularly low-income countries with limited access to healthcare and resources. Other issues include non-communicable diseases, antimicrobial diseases, maternal and children's health, mental and physical health, health inequalities, proper uh, access to essential medicines and healthcare. Addressing these global issues require collaborative efforts from governments and organizations and communities, etc. Strategies should be on improving healthcare infrastructure and promoting health education. We also believe that efforts should be done to eradicate polio and reduce the burden of malaria to contribute to funds at environmental organizations which demonstrate the commitment of different countries to address global health issues. International peace and security would be my next topic. We have traditionally emphasized the importance of international peace and security and the significance of maintaining stability in reason and beyond. And given its strategic location and a role as a major oil exporter. The issues regarding peace and security can arise from various reasons, including conflict between states, regional tensions, and terrorism and proliferation of weapons of mass destruction. These issues highlight the complexity and interconnectedness of challenges of to international peace and security. Addressing them requires collective efforts, diplomacy, conflict resolution, respect for human rights, and adherence to international
and law. I would like to talk about Saudi Arabia oil controlled by OPEC. Next. Saudi Arabia plays an important role in oil control within the organization of the petroleum exporting countries. As the world's largest exporter of crude oil, the kingdom possesses considerable of their influence within the OPEC. In the past, Saudi Arabia has actively used its spare production capacity to stabilize oil markets during the times of disruptions. For instance, in 2020, amidst the COVID-19 pandemic and a sharp drop in global oil demand, Saudi Arabia spearheaded an agreement within OPEC and non OPEC countries to implement some significant production cuts to rebalance the markets and stabilize oil prices. Next would be the Shia Sunni conflict. The Shia Sunni conflict is a long-standing sectarian divide within Islam and has had implications in various parts of the Muslim world. In Saudi Arabia, tensions between the Sunni majority and the Shia minority have existed for decades, and the Saudi government has implemented policies aimed to improving the situation of Shia minority, such as investing in development projects in the eastern province. I would like to talk about India and Saudi Arabia relations next. India and Saudi Arabia have maintained friendly and cooperative relations based on shared interests of various areas like trade, security and cultural influence. Diplomatic relations. India and Saudi Arabia have established diplomatic relations in 1947, soon after independence. The both countries have maintained high-level visits with exchange of state risks by both leaders of countries. Indian diaspora. Saudi Arabia is home to Indian large expatriate community numbering over 2 million. Indian workers in Arabia contribute to the kingdom's development and also play a vital role to the remittance of funds to India. Lastly, I want to thank Mr. Narendra Modi on the behalf of India for improving the hush management and the agreement between us in the areas of defense, security and many more. We hope the relations between India and Saudi Arabia will continue to grow in many areas of cooperation. Thank you so much.